One of the common comments when people move from JavaScript or other languages to Elm is that JSON decoders seem kind of intimidating and they're a little bit verbose. And people say, well, you know, when I was doing JavaScript, all you had to do was say json.parse and suddenly you had you know, a JavaScript data structure. Whereas in Elm, you have to sort of do a little more work. The thing is, it's not an apples to apples comparison because what Elm is giving you is in addition to turning it into an Elm data structure, you're also putting some gatekeeping on. In JavaScript, you say json.parse, and it'll take any valid JSON and turn it into a valid JavaScript object. The problem is your application might be expecting the, app the data to have a very specific structure. You know, this field here, that field there, this should be an integer, this should be a string, this should be an array, or, and so on. And json.parse does none of that. And in most applications, you parse your JSON into a JavaScript data structure and then sort of blithely assume that it is correct in some way for what your application is expecting. And this is often a source of interesting bugs when somebody updates a server and not a client or a client and not a server and suddenly the two sides of a channel are talking slightly different languages and suddenly there's all sorts of chaos. So in order to solve this problem, Elm introduces the concept of a JSON decoder, which not only trans takes a string of JSON and turns it into an Elm data structure of some form, but also does that ch reality checking to make sure that the data is what is actually expected. So it does add a little work up front, but all sorts of subtle and hard to track down bugs suddenly go away. I know I've spent hours tracking down a bug based on the fact that I expected an API to return an array of numbers, and in some case it returned just a single number. And you know, my code was not dealing with that correctly, and there was a whole bunch of special cases. So the point of an Elm decoder is you push all that work up to the front where you can explicitly do it and not do it as a debugging operation later. So this sort of fits with the general Elm theory of we're going to be explicit about what we're doing and we're going to put a little work up front in order to save a lot of debugging time later.